so guys all oh, we're gonna start a new new series yeah in light of the qualifiers for the world cup 2022 hosted by qatar i'm gonna be putting you guys through the players you need to focus on and the guys that could probably get into the nigerian national team i'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown in every single position yeah because to be fair it's wide open we might as well get a whole new fresh squad if needed to go into the world cup 2022 so guys join me on this ride yeah and we're going to be watching all the players today we start with the position the goalkeeper and we're going to be checking the options and yeah you guys should let me know if you think there are other options in terms of goalkeepers but we're going to analyze the boys today and see what nigeria has in essence <laughs> so yeah guys join me and let's get started okay so i have here three guys in front of me dele alan pasu well i think from from an under 17 world cup yep Okay, so you can punch a ball, you can hold the ball. <laughs> oh wow, oh wow. I like that one there. Oh, he's got a great span. He has a great span and great reach as well because that ball was going. Wow. Man, that, that's, that's, that's good. We like to see that. Good save. Wow, okay, 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 okay. Oh, shot stopper, yeah? Oh, he's a shot stopper. This Alan Pasu guy, oh my days, and he got injured. I'm dead ass. Okay, seems to be back. Wow. Almost had a howler there. Wow. Wow, don't worry, I'll give you the details of Alan Pasu, yeah? So we'll see. Okay, next. He plays for Sirens, Kerens, yeah, or Sirens, maybe, who knows, he's 25, he's called Sebastian Osigwe, okay, he plays in Switzerland, let's see, okay, one-on-one, -on -one. He's, he's got his positioning right, he's got his positioning right, that's for sure, oh, wait, did he, did he say that, oh, wow, another agile guy we have here, wow, okay, Another agile one. Oh wow, okay. Hmm. Another one on one. Wow, I like that. He's quick to come out. He's quick to come out. Okay. He can save a long range yard. That's that's great. Come on, we get this. Okay. One on ones. That'll see this will see great guy looks the business though. One on one, you know I love his positioning. See the way he comes out, he narrows the angle. Nah, or Sigue, or Sigue, or Sigue is topping it for me right now, for real. We've got he plays in Croatia, David Samuel, Owolo Kor. Okay, let's see what he's about. Good, good agility. Good agility. He's a bit younger. Okay. Wow. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below. Is uh Osigwe's Osigwe's league? Yeah. At least he's in Switzerland. We know young boys they play in the Premier League there. I think he's in the second division in Switzerland. Let me know. If you know the clubs of all these guys, Alan Pasu, Osigwe, and Samo. Obviously, Samo, we can tell his um his club is in Croatia. Osigwe is in uh, Switzerland. Okay, he's commanded in the box, Samo. That's all right. So let me know if you know anything more about these goalkeepers yet. Yeah? Okay, he's great as well in long range shots. Oh wow. But you see the difference here. Yeah? When you have a keeper that keeps saving it into the 18 yard box, that is dangerous though. Like, this guy saves, like, all he saves seems to come to the 18 yard box. 
Okay, Otto Okonkwo. He plays for Arsenal. He's 17. He might not, might not be tipping him up for the World Cup, but let's let's see what he's got. I, at least we know for sure he's getting some elite training. That's for sure. But he's 17, you know. You can only do great with what is in front of you. So the 17 year olds and 18 year old, I guess. Let's see how he holds his own. Oh wow! Yeah, you see, now I'm seeing some new school vibes. Right there was a new technique called the K. When you're closing up, and he's great in penalties as well. As I was saying, when you're closing up um, a 1v1, it's called a K. It was from De Gea, to be fair. Where you stay, you've got one hand right up there, one below, and your legs are bent towards the ground. Your right leg is a bit up, and your left leg, the knee touches the ground. So you just get that and i saw that with him quickly obviously it's england and whatnot you know it's the new school vibe so he's got it wow okay this was against tied to chung of manchester united this guy's quite good the penalties though he saved two penalties right in front of me now right in front of me he saved two penalties wow his agility seems lovely i mean that was a close range header Wow. Hmm. I mean, he's looking all right, to be fair. Young boy, he's looking all right. That's okay. That's okay. All right, guys. So, yeah. For today, we looked at all those goalkeepers, yeah? And to be fair, with what we've seen already, I'll put my hand towards Sebastian for now, yeah? And that's because, as you can tell, he's one-on-one. -on -one. The way he comes out is brilliant. He's also 25. He's of that ripe age. Not too young, not too old. Ripe age, yeah? Obviously, we've seen Okoko at 17. We've seen Samuel, 23 as well, playing in Croatia. We also saw um, Alan Paso as well. So, at the end of the day, it's, we have a good mixture to pick out from. But for now, we're looking for a goalkeeper, yeah? <coughs> Sebastian, you guys should keep your eyes on Sebastian and let me know how he progresses, yeah? I'll also keep my eye on him. And yeah, it's been a great first video, guys. And Sebastian, yes, this one. You guys should have a lovely day. And yeah, catch you next time. And I'll be analyzing a different position. Leave your comments down below what you think about all the goalkeepers, yeah? Toodles, lovely Damn stuff. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video, yeah? Thank you for tuning in, listening to the boy. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, press that subscribe button. And let's keep growing. Love you guys so much. Take care. Toodles.